folks welcome to uh, lecture number 6 in chapter 4 in the last lecture we learnt about the two types of uh, coronas we you know that corona is partial breakdown activity in extremely non uniform fields when the electrode is very sharp and it may be any length in fact any gap length and very sharp electrode when you apply the voltage the corona or the partial breakdown activity is able to take place initially uh, till up to wide range uh, with below critical amplification of avalanche and that is known as star corona because it looks like a star in the sky and uh, when you change the electrode shape from a needle electrode to a rod electrode or a small sphere electrode and and remain in a gap distance reasonably in few centimeter a few tens of centimeters the range in which the field intensity above uh, Uh, field, uh, the depth in which the field intensity uh, for partial breakdown activity is longer, and the avalanches are able to develop more bigger and uh, acquire a shape of above critical amplification. That means when the total number of charged particle. is more than 10 to the power of 8 the criteria for a streamer breakdown and then the streamer breakdown occurs and that streamer corona uh, is looks like shower of or discharge from the rounded electrode in case of star corona the activity the uh, sound produced very important the sound produced is called hissing sound and in case of streamer corona not only the look and everything but the sound also changes the sound is that of a flutter sound flutter sound is when the birds flutter their uh, feather so that you might have seen birds taking um, path in a small accumulation of water and they flutter their uh, wings and that sound is flutter sound difficult to hear but if you have seen a dancing peacock it makes a wonderful flutter sound the star corona Uh, as we uh, yeah the star corona is uh, confined to very small depth in front of the needle electrode whereas the streamer corona extends itself in the gap most interest interesting is that streamer corona taking place with above critical amplification of avalanche the uh, look of the streamer corona changes considerably when you change the polarity we learnt last time the lichtenberg figures uh, that just a minute this lichtenberg figures when we had learnt yeah it is here that when positive polarity co corona uh, i mean when we uh, when we apply the positive polarity to the uh, electrode the because of changing or slight change in it just a minute
yeah, we uh, saw these two figures that is positive stream of corona and the negative stream of corona, the positive sign and the negative sign. The positive sign, when you apply positive DC voltage to the electrode, because of that the direction of the avalanche, because avalanche begins only at the negative electrode, the uh, space charge formed enhances the field in the cap away from the uh, electrode. I mean, the fall is steep as we had learned earlier, but the field in between is enhanced. And because of the enhancement of the field, more of ionization, more of avalanches are able to form of form form in the gap in longer gap uh, gap distance or in longer depth of the uh, gap. And the partial breakdown activity extends towards the opposite electrode, and that is what you see in positive uh, stream of corona that it extends towards the opposite electrode considerably. Whereas in the case of negative a, uh, negative polarity DC voltage apply, application, the uh, there is a very high increase in the field intensity at the tip of the electrode because of the space charge effect. And further beyond the tip of the electrode in the gap, the field intensity diminishes. So the whole activity confines very close to the tip of the electrode. And uh, that is the reason when you measure the breakdown strength, uh, uh, we will see that when we measure the breakdown strength uh, uh, of the gap preceded by positive corona and negative corona, there is a vast difference between uh, the breakdown strength. Uh, that means for positive polarity DC and for negative polarity DC. Yeah, the streamer, as I mentioned, makes a flutter sound. Uh, tar corona makes a hissing sound. Now let's describe, let's try to learn the third type of corona activity which has been distinguished, the leader corona. When you increase the gap distance as you had kept in the case of stream, producing streamer corona and you, you may have to increase the gap distance minimum one meter, preferably more than one meter, and you may have to apply much higher voltage also. The, initially, streamer activity would take place. That means streamer corona can be observed as we have learned. But when you increase the voltage in such a case of very long gap distance, there is a typical phenomenon takes place. The number of streamer channels, that is the number of uh, shower uh, droplets, uh, uh, shower streamers constrict to the, uh, together. The word constriction means uh, getting into, uh, getting into one uh, Preferably one, maybe depending upon the condition, more than one uh, stream of partial breakdown instead of number of streams of power um, partial breakdown. So constriction activity takes place and a, it forms like a stem of a tree which has beyond, below their number of branches. Uh, and that is called uh, uh, because it looks like a, a stem of the tree, stem bunch breakdown mechanism takes place. And when you increase the 
uh, voltage further, the stem extends into very bright channel and that very bright channel of breakdown is known as leader corona. So as uh, I, it is written here, uh, uh, the leader corona takes place at much higher magnitude of the voltage. It is required to be applied on long gap distances as compared to star and streamer coronas that means minimum of one meter and uh, how does it look like to be the leader corona yeah uh, you see in the figure a very typical example of leader corona is the lightning uh, or, the, or you can say very typical example of leader channel formed very long leader channels formed is in the lightning as you see in these figures the figure a is not lightning it is a, another kind of uh, a breakdown which takes takes place on the surface of glass simple glass window glass if you take a window glass at the um, top you put a um, any electrode preferably um, a rod electrode you can take also a needle doesn't matter but a rod would give better um, better um, view of the leader uh, leader corona formation and ground the um, glass sheet at the bottom so the leader corona in the form of surface discharge on a glass plate on applying quite a low magnitude of voltage itself can be observed as i said if you do it in the air gap simple air gap you may have to of one meter and above you may need more than uh, maybe 100 kb to be applied but some glass or some solid dielectric surfaces have a tendency we call it to track and that tracking process or tracking phenomenon is nothing but surface breakdown or surface discharge uh, phenomenon which takes place either on the surface of a solid or liquid with gaseous dielectric it can take place on the surface of um, um, insulating oils with air also or it takes place with solid dielectric glass plate on the top of the solid dielectric glass plate that means its surface with the air so uh, this uh, uh, you have seen in the uh, figure we will come back the this is the figure a is leader corona as surface discharge over a glass plate as you can see you have taken an is uh, a rod like electrode and below the glass plate you have the grounded electrode and glass plate is extended here glass glass plate is extended here up to this so um, uh, the leader corona or the leader channels as surface discharge are formed and they are extending up to the end of the glass solid insulator why do we call it leader channels as you have seen uh, these uh, channels are very bright also even in the lightning the channels are very bright and a lot of current flows through these channels so there is even uh, uh, thermal ionization because of the lo lot of current heat is produced in the core of these uh, bright channels 
of uh, electrical breakdown or electrical discharge and because the high current uh, uh, even the losses are so much that very high temperature of thousands of kelvin is developed in these uh, channels and uh, photo ionization thermal ionization is also taking place in these channels and that is leader channel and uh, a classic example in nature of leader breakdown or leader channel is nothing but clouds in the figure b here you see a uh, horizontal breakdown which you might have seen in nature this is between two clouds cloud to cloud uh, lightning breakdown or lightning uh, 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 lightning taking place and this is uh, the breakdown is taking place with the help of leader channel that is very large current is flowing between the two clouds or from the clouds in this uh, in this figure uh, in the yeah, in this figure you see uh, that very uh, the lightning is striking some point on the ground and a long distance breakdown and this is nothing but a leader channel let's uh, try to examine further yeah the you can imagine one thing that when very large current is flowing through these channels leader channels the potential gradient across the leader channel would be very low because more is the current the more uh, less is the uh, potential uh, gradient that is potential across these channels so uh, the mean actual potential gradient uh, the mean ac actual potential gradient across stable leader corona channels is quite low due to high charge density or high current flowing through it for a stable positive leader it was established uh, it was uh, through the experimental investigations of uh, lemke to be equal to 1 kv per centimeter for that means if you produce the leader channel in the laboratory as i said said for more than a, um, more than 1 meter gap distance between rod and plain electrode applying 100 more than 100 kv you may be able to produce uh, stable leader corona and when you do it with dc positive polarity you may need a breakdown voltage for say 1 meter to the order of 100 kv that means 1 kv per centimeter is the potential gradient across positive polarity leader channel but because of the same reasons as we learnt in case of uh, stream or breakdown mechanism you may require higher voltage for achieving the breakdown when you apply negative polarity dc and that and may be to the order of 2 to 3 kv per centimeter the potential gradient across negative polarity leader channels is more than double that of the positive polarity uh, leader channels and in this case of leader corona as i said any stable partial breakdown activity is corona so in this case of leader corona again a different kind of sound is produced the audible uh, sound produced by leader corona 
is a loud cracking sound. Cracking sound is the one, suppose a branch of tree falls down because in the storm or because of some reason when it is dried, you hear cracking sound. And the leader corona, the electromagnetic interference produced maybe of the order of bandwidth or up to 2 gigahertz in case of the star corona and streamer corona it was in megahertz whereas in case of leader corona the EMI the electromagnetic interference waves could be of the order of 2 gigahertz. Leader corona can be seen to happen in nature as I showed you in the lightning, the cloud to cloud as well as cloud to ground lightning discharge phenomenon is accomplished with nothing but leader sun. We will learn in the next uh, couple of minutes maybe that Whenever a breakdown in gaseous dielectrics takes place, it always occurs with unstable leader followed by an arc. One can say the breakdown process will be begin with the stable partial breakdown phenomenon of any kind depending upon the gap length and the shape of the electrode, the partial breakdown phenomenon of any kind means uh, partial breakdown of um, in the shape of star corona or streamer corona or leader corona will begin continue there so long you apply the voltage when you increase the voltage the final breakdown will be uh, there with instable leader followed by an arc that is the typical breakdown mechanism in uh, gaseous dielectrics. Yeah, we have seen already these slides. On the top is the surface breakdown phenomenon on a glass plate, uh, plate uh, showing the leader phenomenon. And in, on the glass plate, you may require a few kV voltage only. You may need to apply only a few kV of voltage. Unlike in the air gap, you may require hundreds of kV to be applied and, and you don't need the dimensions in on the dimensions of the glass plate to be in meters. It could be in centimeters also. Hmm? Yeah, let's uh, uh, talk a few uh, slides here I'll show you about the mechanism of breakdown characteristic of atmospheric air in extremely non-uniform fields. As we have learned, the corona activity takes place only in the extremely non-uniform fields. That means the stable partial breakdown activity takes place only in the extremely non-uniform field configurations, which can be chosen to be to your suitability for um, depending upon what you want to produce, what you want to learn, what you want to achieve. And uh, in case of extremely non uniform field configurations, the breakdown strength strongly depends upon the development of the type of corona or stable partial breakdown before the global breakdown, before the complete breakdown. That means that uh, the breakdown strength of the dielectric or the, any gaseous dielectric in extremely non-uniform fields depends upon the type of stable partial breakdown which precedes the complete breakdown. And you can imagine, you can produce different type of uh, partial breakdown or coronas by choosing different type of electrodes. As I said, 
as, a, as we learnt. The needle electrode, the star corona will take place when you take a rod electrode, few centimeter gap distance. The streamer corona uh, would take place before the breakdown. And when you increase the gap distance to, uh, to the order of uh, more than one meter in case of rod and plane electrode system, the leader corona may be able to uh, take place before the complete breakdown. So in all these cases, the breakdown characteristic or the breakdown strength of the air would change. You would be surprised. We have been learning since so uh, many lectures the breakdown strength of gaseous dielectrics, which we learned that it we could for a very small gap of 0.1 millimeter in uniform field, one could measure to the order of 92 kV per centimeter, 31 kV per centimeter in uniform field in one centimeter gap distance. When you increase the gap distance, even in the uniform field electrode, weakly non-uniform field, the breakdown strength came down to 25 kV per centimeter. And now we learn how does it change in extremely non-uniform field with the effect of or with the mm, uh, type of partial breakdown activity or corona which precedes the complete breakdown. Uh, the breakdown strength vo or voltage measured in is close to the respective potential gradient across the type of stable corona channel developed in the gap just before the complete breakdown. You can imagine that if there are some breakdown channels in the gap um, between the two electrodes, what is the potential gradient across that channel that will determine the breakdown strength. And Again, that takes place only in extreme, extremely non-uniform field. The breakdown channels, stable partial breakdown activity, you can observe only in extremely non-uniform field configuration. We, when the breakdown in gaseous dielectrics takes place, it is also called to be spark breakdown. Uh, spark breakdown, that means uh, mm, the flashover, it is also known as flashover or spark breakdown in gaseous dielectrics. And the type of uh, uh, the type of corona which would be produced would depend upon the electrode system what you have chosen. Now let's uh, try to learn first systematically the uh, Breakdown preceded with stable star corona. Now, unlike in uniform and weakly non uniform fields, in case of extremely non uniform fields, the process of avalanche formation at the tip of the sharp electrode is not able to grow deeper in the gap towards the opposite electrode because the field intensity in the depth is below the uh, uh, value required for even maybe ionization. What to say of uh, partial breakdown inception that is higher than ionization. The partial breakdown process in this case restricts itself close to the tip of the sharp electrode or close to the ship uh, tip of the sharp electrode, the breakdown, uh, um, the magnitude of the field intensity is above uh, E i, i could be I, I, capital I for ionization and we have taken small i for inception of partial breakdown. So long it is more than that, the, uh, the, uh, the partial breakdown activity would be able to take place, but not in the region where this the field intensity is lower than the required value 
and that is how it confines to the tip of the electrode. The partial breakdown activity confines to the tip of the electrode. The avalanches are unable to acquire their critical amplification in case of very sharp electrodes. And uh, as these are able to extend to a very small gap distance in the depth of the order of a few millimeters to a maybe maximum a centimeter. We had learnt that below critical amplification is that means less than two centimeter. The maximum um, depth, uh, maximum uh, or the um, uh, maximum uh, gap distance between the electrode, uniform field electrode would be two centimeters to when a below critical amplification takes place. When you increase the gap distance, above critical amplification would take place. So you see it here in these two figures. Uh, the stable avalanche discharges are possible to be produced only with static uh, DC or slow changing uh, AC power frequency voltages. Here it is being meant that if you take uh, very uh, short duration pulse, the stable stable partial breakdown activity would not be able to take place because the total duration of the pulse itself is in microseconds or maximum milliseconds. So the stable partial breakdown or stable corona can be produced only by applying DC voltage or AC power, power frequency voltage in the laboratory. Under such conditions, the avalanches formed are not able to achieve their critical stage of amplification even before the breakdown. With the result, the mean breakdown voltage in the electric uh, electrode gap acquires comparatively higher value of the order of 10 to 20 kV per centimeter peak, peak value obviously depending upon the polarity of the applied voltage. The top figure here as you see here this this figure here is uh, showing a sharp electrode and how the Peel intensity is falling at the tip of the electrode. So the depth in which you have field intensity above E i i small, that means the required field intensity for inception of partial breakdown is very, very small. So the depth in which partial breakdown activity remains is very, very small. Then the breakdown voltage characteristic uh, you can uh, you can see uh, in such a case this is for the first case mm, the breakdown voltage characteristic uh, uh, has been plotted here for a needle of 30 degree uh, radius and plane electrode for positive and negative both so when positive voltage is applied, this is this is the curve for positive voltage being applied here. As you can see, the uh, breakdown characteristic is uh, of the order of twenty uh, of the order of fifty. Sorry, uh, fifteen kV per centimeter initially, and it uh, reduces as the, as the curve flattens it reduces when you increase the gap distance. So the you can say when uh, the gap distances are up to let's say about uh, two or something around two centimeters in this case between needle and plane, the um, breakdown strength of air is measured to be something like 15 kV per centimeters. But when you apply uh, negative polarity DC voltage, the upper 
This is the characteristic measure for negative polarity DC voltage. You measure much higher uh, 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 breakdown strength of the same air uh, at very small gap distance of up to say 2 centimeters. You measure the tangent to the curve shows 20 kV per centimeter the breakdown strength and uh, the uh, yeah the breakdown strength is 20 kV and of course it uh, reduces a bit when you increase the gap distance. So the breakdown strength of the order of 10 to 20 uh, kV per centimeter for electrode system of a few centimeters uh, gap between needle and plane um, is a very high breakdown strength and that is because the partial breakdown activity is unable to grow in the gap uh, or which uh, when it doesn't grow in the gap the field intensity in the gap uh, beyond the tip reduces considerably. Yeah, the big one, uh, when you can make that the breakdown is preceded with stable stream of corona. Next, what would you like to do that? You would, you can achieve it. You can accomplish it by changing the electrode. Instead of needle, you take a rod electrode and increase the gap distance a little bit more. So in case of gap lengths not too long, uh, say a few tenths of centimeters, few tenths of centimeters, but less than a meter, as soon as the streamer is able to extend itself up to the opposite electrode, the cathode, denser streamer discharge erupts from the anode. Where you, uh, uh, when you apply the voltage and increase the voltage between a rod and plane, the shower of discharge of a streamer corona would uh, extend with respect to the voltage towards the opposite electrode. And uh, in such a case, the thermal ionization in front of the tip of the electrode is caused due to the constriction of number of streamer channels. You, we, we, let, let's first examine here the case. Yeah, let's see here first. Yeah, this is uh, better to explain the uh, when the breakdown takes place preceded by stream of corona. As you see in figure uh, written here uh, 25, schematic of development of breakdown mechanism with stable streamer corona. When you apply the voltage and increase the voltage between rod and plane electrode of few tenths of centimeters, the uh, streamer uh, uh, a streamer uh, corona, as you can see here, is almost extending up to the opposite electrode here. The stream of corona is almost extending up to the opposite electrode. And suddenly when you increase the voltage, the mm, streamer constricts, the number of channels constrict and form a uh, stem. And this is the formation of the stem. And the leader channel start uh, extending. They are instable leader and they bridge the gap distance 
and a spark breakdown takes place. So the schematic of the development of breakdown mechanism with uh, stable stream of corona. In fact, here in this part, towards the application of very high voltage, this is the very high voltage magnitude. This is the uh, um, schematic showing the magnitude of the uh, applied voltage, very high magnitude. That uh, the uh, difference between the voltage at which the total breakdown is achieved and at which the streamer is extended to the opposite electrode is very very small. So this is what takes uh, this is how the breakdown with stable streamer corona takes place and uh, no stable leader corona then the gap distance should be few tens of centimeters. Further, we can examine uh, how people have measured some breakdown characteristics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, it is written here. Breakdown is accomplished with a final jump of leader channel bridging the two electrodes and ultimately the arc is produced which conducts the short circuit current. Why do we call it arc? Because very large current flows when the short circuit takes place and the thermal ionization would be very prominent under uh, this condition because of, because of very high current and that conductivity is nothing but uh, the arc I mean the uh, conductivity determines the type of channel whether it is leader or arc the arc is the uh, channel in which very high current and thermal ionization is taking place Uh, a, a, a distinction between breakdown with stable and unstable streamers can be made in terms of degree of uniformity of the field. How? If, uh, if you had taken a needle and plane, it's very highly non-uniform field. Eta factor is very 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 small. But even there the breakdown takes place with unstable leader followed by an arc. In the case of when you change the electrode shape the degree of uniformity is not that uh, 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 that eta factor is not that small we achieve slightly uh, higher eta factor. Uh, in that case, also the breakdown takes place with un ultimately with unlimited unstable leader followed by an arc. But in that case, the streamer corona is able to extend to the opposite electrode if you have maintained a gap distance view of few tens of centimeters which was not there in the case of needle plane. In the needle plane electrode, the streamer uh, corona does not extend at all. It is star corona and suddenly the breakdown takes place. In case of streamer corona with more uh, uh, rod shape electrode, the streamer corona is able to extend to opposite electrode and then unstable leader and breakdown and if you increase the same electrode system as in streamer corona to more than one meter you would be able to observe stable leader corona taking place and then the leader corona extending to opposite electrode and final jump of the breakdown with arc takes place so that is how the uh, breakdown mechanism 
is accomplished for different electrode and gap lengths between the electrodes. So that is how you can change and perform experimental work in the laboratory and you can watch it more accurately. I've tried to explain it to you. You can achieve it with, uh, with uh, your, in the, in the laboratory, you can achieve it in a, a good way. Yeah, the, we can, we have a little more, bit more time. We can see some uh, characteristics, uh, further characteristics uh, of breakdown with DC voltage for a gap distance up to 2.5 meters is very long gap distance you can imagine uh, in, uh, in the figure with uh, positive and negative polarities for sphere, sphere and rod plane electrode configurations. Yeah, on the uh, on my right side of uh, uh, the character that we are talking, the, as you see, the there is breakdown voltage characteristic with DC positive and negative polarity voltage versus the increase in gap distance up to 2.5 meters. The first characteristic is measured between two spheres of very large diameter, something like a 50 centimeter diameter. When two very large 50 centimeter diameter is a very large uh, sphere, when you uh, increase the gap distance up to 50 centimeters for 50 centimeter diameter spheres, the gap distance also 50 centimeters. Up to 50 centimeters, we can ascertain that the field, which field would be there, it is not extremely non uniform field. Uh, it, it, so, uh, it is weakly non uniform field configuration. It is not extremely non uniform field configuration. And the interesting part is that in case of weakly non-uniform field configurations for long gap, 50 centimeters is a long gap in uh, weakly non-uniform field configuration, the effect of polarity of the voltage is not there. This, that means for the same polarity, uh, same magnitude of the breakdown voltage has been measured for both the polarities, as you can see it here, the first curve. So, uh, and the uh, curve is maintaining uh, a breakdown voltage of the order of uh, something like uh, 25 kV per uh, centimeter. As you can see, it is maintaining something like 25 kV per centimeter. A very high breakdown voltage is measured. You remember the intrinsic strength of air is 31 kV per centimeter. So you are able to achieve here in this case a, uh, a voltage of the order of uh, 25 kV per centimeter. Now you change you change the electrode instead of two spheres, you take rod and plane electrode. The field formed between a rod and plane is not weakly non-uniform. It is extremely non-uniform field. As you see it here, for rod and plane, it is extreme, is for positive polarity, is for negative polarity extremely non-uniform and there is the effect of polarity, strong effect of polarity in such a case in extremely non-uniform field configuration. When measured with DC, as you can see, for 
positive polarity for uh, two meter gap distance. Two meter gap distance, you are measuring positive for positive polarity of the order of uh, mm, uh, how much it is? Is it a thousand? It is something like thousand. Yeah, something like for two meters, you are measuring thousand positive polarity, thousand kV. Thousand kV, that means if you divide, it is four kV per centimeter, isn't it? And for negative polarity, for one meter gap distance, you are measuring again thousand kV. That means it is uh, uh, it's something like 10 uh, kV per centimeter. So what are difference when you change the polarity in extremely non-uniform field? The breakdown strength for negative polarity voltage application is much higher as compared to the positive polarity uh, voltage. This is a very important conclusion and why it is the Lichtenberg figures you uh, remember we had shown because the positive polarity the uh, stable partial breakdown activity is able to extend in the gap whereas in the case of negative polarity the stable partial breakdown activity is not able to extend in the uh, gap so this this results in again a difference, a vast difference in the breakdown strength of the same air by choosing the polarity of the voltage. Yeah. So, uh, uh, breakdown with stable streamer and leader corona. We will uh, talk a little bit. Development of uh, different breakdown characteristics strongly suggests that the magnitudes of the breakdown voltage depend upon the type of stable partial breakdown that occur in the gap before the final jump of the uh, uh, global breakdown. The breakdown voltage characteristic for a rod plane gap uh, we will see the figure with positive polarity 60 by 2500 microsecond shape of switching impulse. This is a typical switching impulse wave shape. It is a pulse wave shape. Represents stable partial breakdown streamer corona taking place up to a relatively small gap distance of 1 meter. One can say in this case of switching impulse voltage, where the voltage is lasting, as you can see, 2500 microsecond, that is 2.5 milliseconds. So there is a stable time, you can say, unlike in the case of lightning impulse, which would have been only about. 50 microseconds. So, no stable partial breakdown activity takes place in case of in, uh, lightning impulse wave shape of uh, impulse voltage, but stable partial breakdown does take place in case of switching impulse voltages, which are much, much slower. And that is the reason the breakdown strength with lightning impulse measured is very very high as compared to the breakdown with switching impulse voltages because the occurrence of stable partial breakdown activity in the gap reduces the breakdown strength of the gas yeah this figure as you can see this is the measurement for uh, um, for 400, uh, I mean, uh, you can see here for what between rod and plane 
electrode system, extremely non-uniform field with uh, the uh, shape of the voltage of the order of 60 by 2500 microseconds, the breakdown characteristic has been measured. Up to 1 meter gap distance. As we were talking about, the probability of stable leader corona is not there. So, what is the probability there? One can also watch that. One can also measure that if you had applied, um, if you had uh, all measurement and watching uh, facilities available in the laboratory. The up to one meter gap distance, stable streamer corona would take this and the breakdown strength would depend upon uh, the uh, what we had established the uh, uh, potential gradient across the streamer channels in the air that is about 4.5 kV per centimeter so for 100 centimeters 1 meter we, you may measure slightly more than uh, 400 or you can easily say it is something like 450 uh, kV uh, positive polarity DC has been measured. So the uh, potential gradient across the streamer channel is 4.5 kV per centimeter. So the breakdown strength is 450 kV for 1 meter gap distance. As you increase the uh, gap distance, you need higher voltage for accomplishing the breakdown and then there is a possibility of stable leader corona taking place in the gap for a gap distance of 4 meters that is 400 centimeters a, uh, uh, a breakdown voltage of the order of 1180 kV has been measured. A breakdown voltage of 1180 kV has been me measured here. What is happening in the gap of 4 meters? Near the tip, the stable leader corona would take place and below the uh, um, leader corona stable streamer corona takes place. That means there is a co combination of streamer and uh, leader corona. As you can see it here, this is the streamer corona and below the tip, uh, uh, the leader corona. So, uh, if it is half-half gap distance in which leader and streamer are taking place, the, uh, the leader corona has a potential gradient of 1 kV per centimeter for positive polarity voltage whereas the streamer corona has got 450 kV per centimeter uh, sorry 4.5 kV per uh, centimeter uh, uh, in uh, uh, potential gradient so this uh, this will make it 200 uh, for 2 uh, 2 meters 1 kV per centimeter may will require a potential drop of 200 kV and 450 uh, uh, four, sorry sorry 4.5 kV per centimeter for another 200 uh, centimeter would require uh, 900 kV so the total 900 plus 200 makes it 1100 kV and that is what you are measuring 1180 kV voltage application for achieving the breakdown. The potential gradients have been uh, formed on this char uh, measured characteristic of breakdown. The When the curve is flattening here, in this part, the curve is flattening, the potential gradient is about 1 kV per centimeter and the steep rise here the initially the, uh, the potential gradient initially on the curve is of the order of 450 
4.5 kV per centimeter that is of streamer. So this is how the type of stable partial breakdown activity within the gap determines the breakdown strength in extremely non-uniform feed. So with this we can uh, conclude today's uh, session and uh,